In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to share your website. Now, first of all, we are on the home page or any of the pages, but up here we see the share button. And we can see by putting our mouse on it that right now it is set for people at Three Rivers Local School District can find and access. So we're going to click on it and take a look at the actual sharing. and it says can find and view and of course for your website that's what you would want but we want to do something a little different what if I want students like uh, for the page that's file cabinet that I want them to upload and download files well I want them to be able to do something with that page and so I want them to have some access to it other than just viewing at the same time, I don't want to change the whole website where they can go in and change things on the website and mess it all up. So what Google has built in is what's over here on the upper right hand side, enable page level permissions. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to click on it. It says, do you want to allow that control? And it's like, yep, I want to turn it on. And once I have that, that's set for the whole site. Now it still has the same permissions that they can view it. But say I have a page like Fun Stuff here, or no, actually we'll go down to Math Handout Downloads because I want them to be able to download some things and to upload. And this is a, this is a file cabinet. And so I'm gonna click on this page. But before I do that, it says that new pages inherit permissions by default. If you want to add a user to a specific page, you must first add them at the site level. Well, this is at the site level, so I would have to add them. I would add her my student names or probably put the students in a group, my class group, and then I could just enter that here. And I'm just going to use a person as an example right now. So if I add them, and right now I don't want them to edit the, the site, I want them just to view. So I have it set up to view for the whole site. And I'm going to hit share and save. And so that is set up that they can view. Now they were part of this also, but I've been specific. And for you, you could put students' names or teachers or whoever you would like, you could put them into view, but it has to be put in first before you give them other permissions at page level. So now I'm going to go down to a page that I would like to give permissions to actually go in. And I'm going to click on this page. And I want to add and change the, perm the permissions. Right now it has the same permissions as the entire website. So I'm going to hit change here. And I'm going to change it to, I want to add new users to this. It, normally it would be saying use the same permissions as practice, but I'm gonna to change to use custom permissions. And I'm gonna hit save. And now notice I'm not under the whole site. I'm under, if you look at this, site permissions, and then I'm under math handout downloads. And so what I'm going to set up is now for this person, I can change this to can edit. Now, if we go back to just the site practice, you can see that person still can only view under the site, but on that one page only that I've set up, they can edit so they can upload documents or download documents, they have the power to do that on that one page. And that's what turning page level permissions does for you. So this is how you would set up sharing within your website, keeping most of it safe so that no one can change, but opening certain pages where you would like the students to be a part of and interact with that page. This is how you set the permissions. This ends this tutorial.